A young entrepreneur at Boise State is growing her business really fast, and that's where this story gets a little funny because, as Chase Beefell reports, the product she's selling is quite slow. Hi! Meet Sierra. She's a mechanical engineering student at Boise State. She grew her business fast and didn't let the sluggish pandemic get in the way. When COVID started, I bought my first 3D printer because I no longer had access to the ones I loved at work and school. And I started posting my 3D prints on TikTok. But one print in particular took off. I posted a video of this like little slug fidget toy and it totally went viral. So on a Saturday morning, Sierra launched her website. She calls it 3D Princess. In less than one hour after launch, her stock of 100 slugs completely sold out. They're actually pretty cheap to make. Materials cost me like less than $2, but this slug, um, this is the large, takes 12 hours to make. So that's really what my pricing is based on. So the large sells for $28, which is a lot for a little plastic toy, um, but, the, the largest actually sold out within five minutes of me launching my website. Selling the slugs made Sierra a couple grand, and now she has about 2,000 people in line for more. She says her customer base ranges from people looking to unleash their inner 12-year-old to parents buying them as toys for their children. There's also a lot of people who live with ADHD and autism who really like these as fidget or stim toys. That's what I've been able to figure out. <laughs> but I don't know why they are like so much more popular than anything else I'm 3D printing. Sierra was recognized for her business model in the Idaho Entrepreneur Challenge. I'm so excited. She won the lifestyle and service track, earning her about 7,000 in prize money. With that money, she's buying more 3D printers to speed up slug production. If you're not a slug person, which is a lot of people, um, I will be doing a lot more cool 3D prints. If you want to see cool things 3D printed, check me out. Sierra's real slug friends, Max, Maximus, and Maxine, help her market her product on TikTok. I think I'll probably catch one more because I love them. <laughs> As a child, Sierra had two different dreams, to be an inventor or an entomologist. Now, as an adult, she can proudly say she found a nice, happy medium. Max went straight for the dry cat food. Chase Beefelt, Idaho's News Channel 7. Congratulations to Sierra, also a former Miss Idaho. We're familiar with her on this show. Now, Sierra wasn't the only student to gain money from the Idaho Entrepreneur Challenge. Adam Stock at BYU-Idaho won the manufactured goods track. Colton uh, Cole Alternator, that is, and Landon Lively at U of I won the social and environmental track. They also took the Trolley House Venture Award. The software and technology category went to Sydney Hartford, Amy Huck, Riley Marathu and Daniel Robinson at U of I. And the President's Award went to Alex Safrian at WSU. There's no picture for Alex, but congratulations to Alex. And congrats to all of these students who won cash prizes to invest in their new businesses. Really impressive stuff.